Hi sewing friends, welcome back. This is the sixth day of our series on um, a mini capsule wardrobe, all made from Vogue uh, 9176. We have made the dress. We have made the little top, two of them. We have looked at the Palooza pants and we've looked at the straight leg pants. And today we are looking at the jacket. The jacket comes in two versions. I actually didn't make either. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on here on the line drawing, but the back of one jacket had kind of a trapeze back with a um, pleat and the other one had many pleats. And well, and it says here, you know, the body types this looks good on. And I would say I am, oh, I don't know, maybe the V, maybe the square. I don't know. But anyways, I don't think it would look good at all. So I just went with a plain back. So I kind of love this jacket. I gotta say, I do. I do kind of love it. It is made out of this lovely cotton linen from Fabric Fabric for $9.99 a meter. And um, it's got burgundy, pink, green, cream. And I kind of built the rest of the uh, capsule wardrobe around that. And it is a very, it is a very nice weight of material. It's um, definitely like a very heavy linen, if you call this a linen at all, or a light denim. Um, so this um, jacket is not lined, which I was kind of glad about because the dress and the tops are lined. Um, I'm going to walk away from you. I want you to look at the yoke. It is not your classic, you know, straight yoke up to the shoulders, straight across the back. It is curved down around the sleeves. And you're supposed to put the pleat in the middle of that. And I just thought that would make it look too... I already have enough trouble looking too... But I did think that was an interesting yoke. So I certainly went with that yoke. I just um, took the pleated part on the pattern piece and folded it in. Um, measured it to make sure it would match the yoke and uh, put it on the fold and cut it out. And that worked just fine. Uh, so to make this jacket, um, they have you uh, uh, put the collar on. The collar is interfaced on one side. They just have you uh, sew that together and turn it. I top stitched it and uh, and then just baste it on. And then, um, uh, after, that is of course, after you've put the yoke and the back together. And um, then they have the um, kind of the inside facing, which is also got interfacing on it, uh, attach at the shoulder to the uh, inside yoke piece. And you sew that all on and flip it inside out or right side out I guess and it is like origami you have magically made a jacket. Um, lots of um, pinning but um, really nothing tricky about this jacket. I don't think I picked anything out. I don't think I felt any despair at all when I was making this jacket. 
So that's always a good thing. I love my pink shoes. I'm so glad I got them. They match this outfit just perfectly. Yeah. So I think that is great. I think uh, I don't know. I don't know if I if a beginner should uh, try this jacket, but it isn't actually very hard. Uh, something like there's no pockets in this jacket. There's no pack pockets in this dress. There's no pockets in any of the pants. Uh, it's kind of a pocket-free uh, wardrobe, I guess. Um, so there's nothing too tricky about that. Uh, I think I think if a person did put the pleat in, did decide to put the pleat in, that it wouldn't be tricky to put in. Uh, it's um, I just don't think it would be very appealing. And then you. Uh, like fold the facing outside, sew it together on the bottom and turn that out. And then you fold up the bottom hem and hem it. And uh, put in the sleeves, which are just set in sleeves. And then the inside yoke uh, sews to the uh, sleeve uh, seam and uh, to the yoke seam. And they want you to sew that by hand. I sewed it, machine sewed it, to the sleeve seam and it actually didn't want to go in very nicely along the yoke seam uh, so I, I sewed the middle of it but the ends just kind of made it pull so I sewed it and then I, I guess I picked that bit out but. inside yokes are always a little bit tricky so so yeah, and I made uh, an infinity scarf with the leftover bit from the uh, Georgette with the shiny metallic thread in it. I think that just kind of helps pull the whole thing together. So yes, indeed, I would say making a capsule wardrobe from an envelope that has several different pieces in it is a great idea. Thank you, dear viewer, for suggesting that. Um, it, it certainly is a way to, uh, uh, you know, having the same level of um, instructions, you know, it's a, it's a good way to, um, you know, really, really uh, kind of stretch yourself a little bit. Uh, I think without the encouragement of this, uh, of the viewer who suggested doing this, uh, that I may have made this uh, dress. Uh, I would have, I may have tried the pants, and uh, I may have tried the top without lining it. But I am glad that I lined it. I am glad that I made the jacket. That um, it was certainly doable. I kind of love this jacket. Yes, I do. Uh, so, what I wanted to talk about today in my Grateful Thread is um, my dear friend who owns a fabric store in our community, uh, Beaver Creek Mercantile, gifted me two excellent patterns that I will have to try sometime soon. They're uh, Christy Johnson's. I hadn't even heard of these patterns. This one has three pieces, a jacket, a t-shirt, and a... Uh, center seam pants and this one is a swing uh, jacket made for um, knits so those will be fun so thank you so much and um, it is always nice to try I love trying different pattern companies and different fabric companies and trying to mix it up and uh, you know kind of get a broad sense of what's out there so so that's fun so tomorrow, oh, I can't wait for tomorrow, and I hope that you tune in, because what I'm going to try is, through the magic of technology, is showing you all of these outfits all mixed together with each other, and I think, if my math is correct, that uh, from this uh, pattern, from the six pieces we made, that, by we, I mean me, 
uh, that we can get 10 different looks. So tune in for that. And I hope that you are sewing because sewing is so much fun. <laughs>